Hey guys, Jason from Nailed It Fencing here and have I got an exciting one for you today. I've been tasked to install a sliding gate in a pre-existing fence that somebody else built. All I did on the fence was move the letterbox and replace a few pickets. Now let's take a look at the sliding gate. Looks pretty awesome, nice angles, everything matching up with the existing fence. But check this out. We have a pedestrian gate inbuilt in the sliding gate. I've made it so the plinth all matches up here um, and when the gate opens up that little top bit of plinth will open up with the gate. Uh, when I installed the pickets I just put them up as a full picket and then sliced the top so the gate could open. I've also installed a lock latch deluxe by D&D Technologies. It's a push button at the front and a latch at the back and lockable from both sides. Let's take a look at that in action. So zoom on through, and I've got a self-closing spring doing all the work to close the gate. And now from the inside, and it's not much of a duck to get through. Nice. Now let's take a look at the automatic sliding gate in action. As you can see, the rollers run on its own post, so the sliding gate is completely separate from the fence and the gate opener is the Powertech 500. Now let's take a look from the front. As this is a large gate, I have the speed set to about 50%, which still moves along quite nicely. This slider did come with its challenges, but I tell you what, this was one of the most enjoyable projects that I've worked on for quite some time. So there you have it guys, job done. And if you like this video, please uh, smash the like button. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. And if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.